Hi, good afternoon. I am Paul. And today we're going to brew a cup of coffee using Chemex. So what I love about this brewing method because Chemex produce a delicious and clean cup of coffee and also highlights the brighter notes of our coffee as well. So that's why I chose Sumatra. So to start up, I'll be needing a gooseneck kettle, Chemex receptacle, and the ground coffee, and our paper filter. So right now, I will open between the third and fourth folds of our paper filter and place it to the top of the Chemex to the thicker side towards the spout just to ensure that it is properly fit and also to avoid paper filter for collapsing later on. So earlier I prepared 185 grams of hot filtered water and I'm going to wet the entire filter. This will help eliminate the papery taste in our cup. And also I'm going to wet the entire filter including the top that's seated above the glass. So right now, I'm going to discard the hot water since we don't want this water in our cup later on. So earlier, I ground Sumatra using the correct grinding setting, heating number 5. But before and after I ground, I ensure that it's clear the any residue because it will really affect, affect on the flavor characteristics in our cup later on. So right now, the dry aroma of the coffee is somewhat has an earthy uh, flavor or earthy aroma. How about you? Thank you. So right now, I'm going to ensure that all grounds is in the center of the paper filter. Ensure that it is properly leveled and evenly distributed. So for the first step of brewing, I'm going to pour a small amount of my hot filtered water just to ensure that all coffee grounds is properly saturated and ready for our grounds for brewing later on. Let's pause for 30 seconds to allow the coffee to bloom. So blooming is very important because it allows the coffee grounds to degas and as well it allows the water to pass through smoothly and to extract its proper flavor. So our 30 seconds is up. Right now I'm going to pour half of the amount of my remaining hot water in the kettle over the grounds, just ensuring a slow and moderate rate of pour while avoiding the size of our craft. And again, let's pause for 30 seconds. So in this step, it helps us to avoid overfeeding into our Chemex and also to maintain the temperature of our coffee. So later on, we're going to experience a well-rounded, full-bodied coffee and has a low to almost no acidity of coffee, but it somewhat lingers in the side of our tongue because of its spiciness. So again, our 30 seconds is up. So right now, I'm going to, to pour all of my remaining hot water over the grounds and again ensure it's slow and even circular motion while maintaining a moderate rate of pour. In this step, it creates a gentle turbulence that steers our coffee and to allow it to extract its proper flavor. So right now, we will know if our coffee is ready if we don't see any individual drops from the cone filter. So since this is a tall size, we are aiming for 545 grams of hot filtered water. So to share something to you about Sumatra, 
Sumatra or Indonesia is the fourth largest country that produces coffee in the world. First is the Brazil, Vietnam, Colombia, and then in Indonesia. Sumatra is the largest island that make up Indonesia. So 90% of coffee in Indonesia or in Sumatra is Robusta. So finding high quality beans or Arabica beans is very difficult to do because most of the farmers are independent farmers that grows coffee close to their homes. And what I love about this coffee because this coffee was processed into semi-wash processing method. This method is most often associated in Indonesia. The final drying or the continued drying, the partial drying and the final drying what makes Indonesia unique when it comes into processing coffee. After harvesting the coffee, um, they, they process the coffee through the depulper. Depulper usually is an old wooden hand crank machine, not like in Latin America, they have an automatic or large sophisticated automatic machine. So while waiting for our coffee to be brewed, so later on, as what I have said earlier, we're going to experience a well-rounded, full-bodied coffee and somewhat um, no acidity coffee. So and also we're going to experience why we del why do we love this since 1971 and why do we love this Sumatra coffee until now. So if you want another dimension flavor of coffee, you can try the pour over, which highlights the acidity of the coffee and also highlights the subtle notes of our coffee as well. So the individual drops is stuck. So I think our coffee is now ready. So I'm going to remove this paper filter. So please allow me to have a small portion of it to check its flavor consistency. Very perfect. It's not too heavy but not too light. So here's your tall Sumatra Chemex brewed coffee. Thank you.